So what I'm planning to do today is go ahead and get an oxalic acid treatment done on the bees. Hey there everybody, this is Barry's Best Honey. I might and I do bees. Welcome back to my little operation here in southeast Louisiana. And as I always tell you guys, remember this is not a how-to video. This is a video blog, a vlog. Just documenting my beekeeping adventures. Anyway, just to get the formalities out the way, don't forget if you like the channel, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help the channel get out there to those uh, people searching for bee videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Doesn't cost you a dime. Hit that notification bell, you know every time I upload a video which isn't very often right now, although I think I will start soon. That's because my month or so of slowing down and off time is over. So it's time to get back and start getting things ready for next year. I'm telling you, I said it in the last video, I am blown away. It's only three months before we're identifying splits. And look, about seven or eight weeks in be reversing hive bodies be here before you know it so gonna work on a few things today all right so uh, anyway the, the situation is this I normally don't do an oxalic acid treatment in the winter and that's actually what most people do um, because that's when your hives are broodless but as I said in other videos I said it in the last video if you didn't catch that one um we don't really go broodless of course I don't know if that's in the last video because I haven't edited it yet but I might leave it in there I might not anyway if I don't, and if you didn't see it, we don't really go broodless here. Um, I guess we do if we have a really cold, cold winter. There'll be a period of time we'll go broodless. They definitely slow down at this point. And uh, that if there is a broodless period, I'd have to guess it's going to be between mid-December and mid-January. Maybe even as long as into February. But then we begin to warm up. Uh, we have days that warm up. So it's not necessarily a long period of broodlessness. So we're sitting at the end of the first week of December. We've had a lot of cool temperatures, 30s in the mornings. Right now it's 55, and uh, it's been this way except for Thanksgiving week since probably the first week of, of November, which has been good. Cold winters seem to I have the best highs coming out of cold winters. But anyway, the one reason I am deciding to go ahead and do it now and do it again is I did it in September, which is when I normally do it. I normally treat in the September with oxalic acid. I don't use strips at this point in time. Not that I won't ever, but uh, I've been going with oxalic acid now about four years. And what I usually do is about four treatments. Well, I only did three each, each every seven days, and I don't think that did the trick. If you go back to my videos, and I should link it up here, I didn't get a good feeling when I did mite counts uh, after the oxalic acid treatments. We had a high load right, at the, right over the threshold or right at the threshold um, that we're supposed to have in one of the three that I checked and the other two were under the threshold which was good but I just don't think I did the four like I should have and like I normally do so since I didn't I'm gonna go ahead and hit them now this is about as brutal as they're gonna get right now um, because it's been cold so we'll go ahead and hit them now and I might do a second treatment just depends how I feel about it So here we go folks, one blast to OA, this week 
possibly next week. But uh, again, I don't know what I'm doing in the winter, but I didn't, I didn't get a good coverage in the fall. You really should do this when it's broodless. That's the fact. It doesn't go through the brood caps, but in the end, I, uh, I always do it in September, do it four times. I usually do it every seven days. I should do it four times every five days according to the instructions to cover an entire brood cycle, but you still miss some. There's still brood being capped during the week itself, so that's why broodless is so important to this. Um, I may switch to this, but in the end, you got to do something in the fall, otherwise those mite bombs will explode. And uh, you don't want that because then that's just mites everywhere. Uh, your hive collapses, you got mites in the other hive. It's, you got to do something in the fall. Mites are serious. Let's get started. I need to get these done. And uh, I got other things I want to do today. Basically, I 
wait till it gets up to 230. Sometimes in the cool weather, it's hard for it to recoup its temperature really fast. So you've got to actually slow down and take a look at your temp gauge, is what I found out. Then I put it back on, tap the top to get all the crumbs out, and then uh, watch for it to drastically drop down in temperature. And then when the temperature begins to rise, you should have a clean burn. The true test is taking the top off and seeing a good clean cup with a clean burn. So the temp's probably already coming up. We want to get it out. And uh, then we start over. But again, it, it takes a little bit to recoup when it's cooler outside. That is a clean burn. Ooh, forgive the noise of the generator, but I don't like to shut it off to keep it going. But the bees are bringing in a little bit of pollen, and that's off the camellia plants. They're all on my camellias. Of course, camellias bloom this time of year. They don't get nectar from them, but they do get uh, pollen. Well, uh, I had to go back in and grab uh, some pliers to get one of the golf tees out. They were really in there good, some of them. And one of them I just I pulled and pulled and couldn't get it. While I was pulling on it, that hive, I must have left a little bit open on the entrance. And uh, the guard bees came out and got after me. So while I was in there, I grabbed a bale just to finish that one stand. Um, once, I, once I got done, I went ahead and pulled their entrance real quick uh, so they could all go back in. And they all went back in. Uh, but uh, yeah those golf tees now when I got those uh, holes in the back I already got chloroplast in for winter over the screens I've got uh, no honey supers on that are for human consumption I got one on but it's, it's for the bees um, and it goes quick you just plug and go plug and go so uh, yeah I had to go get the old veil on I had one getting after me and then as soon as that one got after me pretty soon there was a mob of them and I didn't get stung but they were just letting me know they didn't like me there so I just had to just had to get them vaporized and then open the hive back up. Once I opened it up, they went right on back in. So I gotta go next door. I'm gonna go do those two. I gotta go to the pond and do those four. And I think I'd be all of them. All right, let me get this uh, thing gathered up. I'm letting those, I'm letting those uh, rags stay in for the full 10 minutes on each hive. Uh, that way I guarantee, because when you pull them out early, you still got vapor coming out. And really I want all the vapor in there. I think I'm gonna just go with this one treatment. Uh, that is, that's my plan. Uh, more I think about it, they're as brood free as they're going to get. No reason to even try and go in a second time. Um, I'm getting a good solid vaporization on them. So I'm just going to leave it at one and we'll see what we see what we got come springtime. Because um, if I'm leaving them plugged and I'm getting a good vaporization on them and the brood is at a minimum right now, we should get a good kill on them, on the, on the mites. And at least it'll knock them back at a minimum. And then any, any uh, mites that might be out loose or whatever, hopefully the freeze gets them. Um, of course, you know, mites, what they'll do is they'll get in the cluster and survive. And my bees are clustering at night, but there's actually more flying than I thought. Um, that, that one hive, that little nuke, there were a lot of bees waiting, coming, you know, waiting to get back in the entrance.
All right, we let them set for a few minutes. We're gonna be done with it. And I'm gonna head to the pond. I won't take y'all down there. I won't waste y'all's time with that. But we'll uh, get that done and wrap this video up. Uh, these were two good hives. So hopefully this whole treatment we did today kind of sets everybody up for uh, success in the spring. But we will see. All right, guys. Let me go get these ones at the pond done. Well, all right, guys. That's it. That's a wrap for today. I am going to the pond. I haven't went yet. I'm going to go down there. Uh, no sense in dragging y'all down there. Nothing's changed. Um, bees should be fine. Hadn't seen them in a few weeks, but uh, I'm sure they're okay. I did decide I'm just going to do one. Uh, we're keeping the towels in there for 10 minutes. I made sure everybody got a good treatment. Everything's closed up. They got a good dose according to what they're supposed to get. So this is the, if they're going to be, it's minimum brood is, is now I'm good with it I'm gonna leave it at just one treatment we're gonna run from here and see what we get in spring all right guys well look I do appreciate everybody watching and uh, hey if you like the video as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it and guys don't forget to share this video with your friends your family anybody that enjoys watching bees you guys have a wonderful wonderful evening and may God bless you see y'all later